So here we are, We the Real People, and today we go to Bell Fountain, Ohio. Bell Fountain is also known as the Peak of Ohio. So get ready, We the Real People are going to speak to real people. All right, we're here in Bellefontaine, Ohio. Oh, no, well, no, let's fix it right. Let's fix it right. It's Bell Fountain. Bell Fountain, Ohio. You don't, everybody says Belly Fountain. You know, it's like, no, it's Bell Fountain. Yes. Brian's our first actual We the Real People yes. interview. So yep. thanks for your time. No problem. Okay, so Brian, here's what we're doing. All right. We're a couple teachers from Michigan, and we're just going to drive around. And today, what we did was we threw a dart and we hit. Bell Fountain, Ohio. Oh. That's what we did. So we drove down. So here's the question. Okay. You know, with all the pressing things going on in the country. Absolutely. And there's a lot going on. And I, I pay attention. I'm sure you do. Oh, absolutely. So tell me, here in Bell Fountain, uh -huh. what is the biggest pressing issue that you think that citizens like yourself are talking about? Oh, well, COVID is the biggest thing everybody talks about. Mm -hmm. You know, but... It's just there's too many things about it that real people see that say it's nothing to worry about. I'm against it. And now, look, here, here's, here's the thing. I'm against it myself personally, but if you want to get it, that's on you. That's on you. But don't try to tell me what the hell I got to do, you know? And I say that to Joe Biden himself, and I'd say it to his face. If he wants to come here and try to put that needle in my arm, I'll show him where to put it. Oh my gosh, I mean, where do you want to begin? Um, you have social injustice, you have just, you know, the whole disregard for life itself. You know, there's a whole lack of morality. Um, man, it's just, it's sickening actually. You know, I'm only 45 years old and experienced this, it's saddening. Um, you know, it's like, um, where's the love for your friend, for your, for mankind actually, you know? Just like as you came up and we introduced, we spoke, we became friends. Strangers are people who you have yet to become friends with. And it seems like somewhere along the lines, a lot of people have lost that. Where are you at, Tanya? That's awesome, by the way. I know, right? He's a pretty awesome guy. Yeah, I, um, I think for me right now, it's um, teaching my kids that they can still be an individual. And they do have the right to have their own opinion, whether people agree or not. And I think the people that are the minority right now in any situation, whether it's the vaccine situation, whether it's the social injustice, like we have to, we have to stand up. It's time now for us to stand up for humanity and for our fellow humans, because if we don't, then we're all gonna die. So if you can't love your brother, then what are you here for? Our economy. <laughs> Expand on it. I wanna see what you mean by that. Well, I think the government is, uh, what do I wanna say, strapping us down with uh, their mandates and things like that and preventing businesses from actually doing what they need to do. That's, is it is it high government, mid government, state government, or local government? Oh, it's definitely high government okay. Okay. from the president on down. Okay. So there you have it, right here in Bellefontaine, Ohio, with, no, oh, yo, you gotta get up here. <laughs> All right, we're still here in Bellefontaine. Bellefontaine. Okay. You know us Michigan people, I'm with Davis, okay? I would say the most pressing issue is the state of uncertainty that we're in. I don't know if we're gonna shut down. I don't know if I'm gonna have a job, I have to go to school in two months. I, I don't wanna wear a mask. I'm afraid to wear that again. I don't wanna get the vaccine. I'm afraid that I'm gonna get forced into getting it. I just, I don't know what's gonna happen in the future. Where do you think this is coming from? Is this coming from local, state, federal or all of them? I say federal and state. I talked to a health department from the county yesterday and he told me that it's all political and I think our local government is not that bad but then when it comes to the state and the federal I think it's all political. Were well, we the real people here with Davis giving us real answers? City Suites and Creamery. And we're here at City Suites and Creamery. All right, Davis, thank you. Cool. Thank you. There's mandates going on with vaccinations. Yeah. Do you think people should be mandated to be vaccinated? No, not really. Expand on it. What do you mean by no, not really? Come on, Eli, dig deep. I mean, I understand where they're coming from, but if, like, I don't know, they kind of try to violate rights by trying to have somebody do something they don't want to do. There you have it. I'm going to go to Ruby first, ladies sure. first. Yes, absolutely. Ooh. 
society itself. Expand. I want to know what is society itself. There's so much of it out there, but right. people can learn from a lot of different parts of the society. Mm -hmm. Well, I think we've lost the fundamental idea of what our government is meant to do. The more mandates you can put down, the more executive orders you can put down, the better. Um, and that completely goes against the three branches and the whole point of the checks and balances. So. I think um, I think sometimes it can be overstated, but I think right now the push for a tyrannical kind of father figure is um, a serious issue that I don't think enough people really, I think people chalk it up to hyperbole, but the reality is, in my opinion, the government is overstepping. They're doing it right in front of our face. And for whatever reason, half of the country thereabouts seems to want to cheer it on. And I think whether it's Trump, whether it was Obama, Bush, go down the line, Clinton, whoever, for whatever reason now, a large portion of the, of the citizens are in favor of a government overreach. And we see that with the mandates. Um, you know, my body, my choice used to be a very popular phrase. And now it's your body is the state's do as do as we say and there's this weird push from from a large sect of our population that says that's good that's good and we're with jake who's also the hardin county king okay how'd you get elected hardin county king again so uh the each school in the county uh they elect a king and a queen candidate and then you go for an interview and the judge picks who's going to be the hardin county fair king or who's going to be the hardin county fair queen so there you go <laughs> awesome um, I would probably say miscommunication. There's a lot of people on either side that don't get along, and I feel like it's for wrong reasons. Everyone really wants the same thing, but they just have different ways of going about it, and they disagree on a lot of stuff. So I think we just need to come together more. So let me ask you. I'm going to have you expand a little bit. Miscommunication, is that, is that from many, many different types of media? What's causing the miscommunication, in your opinion? I would say a lot of it is media because the media will say one thing and that it will try to align with one set of people and then a different media will say a different thing aligned with a different set of people and those people are you know driven to one side when really they all just want the same thing they just re don't really realize it there you go yeah we need um, to have Jesus back in our schools number one thing um, we need to make Jesus more known and to have more outlets for the youth um, this generation, I think, is, the, is what's hurting the most, the next generation, and it breaks my heart. And I look at my kids, and I'm raising them to know and love the Lord. And um, it's just this uh, country is drawn away from God. So I just feel like God needs to be taught in the schools, and um, we just need to share more of Jesus. That's where I'm at. Thank you so much. It's awesome. We are now on McKinley Street. McKinley Street is very unique here in the United States because McKinley Street is the shortest street in America. It measures approximately 20 feet. So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to McKinley Street. Here with we, the real people, talking to real people and getting real answers on the shortest street in America. I feel like there is an agenda that's being pushed in our schools. I feel um, that parents are not aware, but they are becoming more aware, but yet there is not an organization of their awareness in order to push them forward. But once they find out, I feel as if um, people better watch out because um, they don't want their children indoctrinated. They do want their children to love and accept all people, but they do not want their children to be told of one way that rejects their fundamental truths and their fundamental truths um, many of which I serve are based on Christ. Yeah. And so My job as a teacher is to let the kids um, feel love, the love that comes from Christ. They know that when they walk into my room, no matter what their background is, no matter what their, their race, religion, family situation, economic status, that they are loved. They know that they have somebody that will support them, um, but I, <clears throat> I will do so with the love of Christ, not with a, a worldly kind of uh, indoctrination that rejects God. 
I feel like the most pressing issue is people are more concerned with me, 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 and it feels to me like there is a lack of consideration for the overall well-being of all individuals. And being an educator, I feel like we all have to always think about the entire, the good of the entire community because it, it really does take a village to raise children. And children are coping with so many things right now. They're coping with COVID and, you know, in some communities, parents that struggle with addiction or single parent households or, you know, the, the myriad of things that children have to deal with. And I just feel as adults, we need to model caring for each other, caring about each other and not just worrying about ourselves. GoPro, stop record. Okay. What's your name again? Oh my, my name is Vanessa. Sorry, Vanessa. And what's your oh ho ho? Okay, <laughs> here. <laughs> no, really. What's your name? Eve. What a Eve? Eve. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. All right. And over here, I want to show you probably the most important sign in Bell Fountain. Right there. The best meat in town. That's what she said. Bell Fulton, Ohio.